Highgate Cemetery is a serene setting which dates back to the first half of the 19th century. Here, where nature envelops the tombstones, over 170,000 people are buried. And it's here that you will find White Eagle Hill. It's where the Polish freedom fighters are buried, who fought in the November uprising of 1830 to 1831. And it's here where lies Ludwig Oborski, whose eventful life could be the basis of many a film. He was born a few years before Poland was wiped off the map in the late 18th century, its lands divided up between Russia, Austria and Prussia. He fought against those three powers in Napoleon Bonaparte's army because he believed that France was Poland's only hope of regaining independence. Unfortunately, his hopes were unfulfilled. In 1830, the Russian Tsar's troops mutinied against him, demanding that he recognize Poland as an independent state. Among them was Colonel Laborski. After the uprising failed, he fled to France. In 1848, he fought in Frankfurt and Northern Italy as a revolutionary. In 1848, he returned to Poland. A year later, Oborski, now aged 60, took part in the uprising in Baden. Oborski, like the rest of his brothers in arms buried on the White Hill Eagle, came to Britain from France for it was on the continent that the beating heart of the Polish immigration could be found. After the November uprising, several thousand Poles escaped Russian persecution by seeking refuge in France. For Poland and its countrymen, the concept of fighting abroad for a free, united homeland dates back beyond the Second World War. Poles were fighting for an independent country as early as the first half of the 19th century.